So I had a student ask me this question, uh, and I wanted to show you how you can actually do this. And the question was, how do you actually go from taking a picture of a key to turning that into a workable uh, 3D model? So I'm going to walk you through how you actually go about this. Now, I used Photoshop for this, and you can do it different ways. But I start off with a picture. So I just took a picture of a key, uh, and you do want to be able to see where you can see all the grooves and stuff along the key. All right, that, that's a, a key, key component. Now, what I did, I found, if you're going to work on this, and we, we did this in Tinkercad, I found it's a lot easier to actually just add a layer. So I went through and added a layer, and what I did is I just selected this part and made it black by itself. So when you remove this background, this is the image more or less that I'm going to save. So I just saved it as a, as a PNG file, and once I had that, I went through and I actually used uh, this online converter. And this is the website right here. It's onlineconvert.com. And if you use this website, it's a good website. You can do a lot of fun things with it. Um, but if you go to this, this first little screen, you'll notice that you've got an option right here in the middle for image converter. So what I did is I'm going to select it. I'm going to move this to this S SVG file. And once you do this, this is going to allow us to actually op use this as an option uh, where we can select our file. And you're going to see that what I had, I actually had this little SVG file for the key. And once I had that, you select it, and then it's going to actually download this as a as a as an option for an SVG file. Okay. And what you're going to do inside Tinkercad, you're going to notice that up here in this corner, you're going to have an option up here where you can click import. Okay. And when you click on it, you're going to notice that one of the options that you can actually bring in is an SVG file. And once I did this, this is the whole thing. Okay. Uh, it actually went through, and you're going to notice that there's grooves, all sorts of stuff on this. It looks very nice. Um, look just like the actual key itself. All right. And from there, then all I had to do was actually download this. And uh, I downloaded this as an STL file. So you can see you can export that. Uh, you can download it for your 3D printing. Uh, and from there, all I, I was using uh, Print Studio, which I, I did this more or less on a Dremel. Um, and you can kind of see that once I put that in there, I went ahead and I put it uh, with a raft. So it didn't take that long at all to do. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes. And from there, I then had a workable model. All right, now I did, I printed a raft. You don't have to print a raft. And in fact, I would probably encourage you if you're going to do this for yourself to not print a raft. Um, you can see I, it printed fine on the Dremel though. Um, and you can see I kind of zoomed in on it right there. All the little notches are there. And just to, as a comparison, uh, it, same size. So I did have to measure it. Uh, and then I did an overlay just to make sure that all the grooves were there and all the grooves were there. So it's actually a pretty easy, easy process. So the main thing that you need is an STL file.